guys. Let's wait for that. Stop you. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today Hello. I have a little sidekick in my room. Jackie is in here while I'm filming. So you might hear background noise, but it's alright. Um, so today I am testing a foundation, a $200 foundation. I tested it before, but the color that I tested was way too light because I'm really bad at color picking foundation for myself. Wow, it's way light. That's okay. We're gonna make it work. And also, I've been using free foundation that I've been receiving to test, which has been coming to me in shades that are too light for me, but I've been using them anyways because I got them, so I've been using them. But today I am going to test the La Prairie $200 Skin Caviar Essence Foundation. I am going to be testing it in Honey Beige, which is NW30. Um, the color that I tested before was Green, green Peach, and that was in N10. Um, it was, this is, they come in like these little, this is what the samples come in, is these little things here. I think they're cute. I like little bitty things. And then it comes with this little mini. Everything's mini, see they're so cute. Oh, it's adorable. So it comes with this, you can tell, see I've used it already. Um, but I'm going to test, oh my, no child! She just got my lip gloss and was putting it on my white dresser. Why? Wipe that off for me. Wipe it off my dresser. Kids. Anyway, so you can see I've been using, I used it once, um, but the color that I used was too light. And I did film a video, so maybe I'll put parts of that in here, but... <laughs> I look like a ghost. Um, I wasn't really happy with how that came out, so I'm refilming. And I'm going to test the right color. I've already tested and I like this color. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. And yeah. Primed. Ready to go. So here's the one um, that I am going to test for you guys right now. I'm going to dab into here like it says to. Uh, that might be too much. I don't know. I've only done swatches of this color, I haven't done it all over, so we shall see. Like I said, I'm really bad at color matching, and um, I need to go to like a Sephora or Ulta and get it done because I just never make the time, and I have been using, like I said, free products that have been sent to me, and I'm going to put it on here so I don't have to prime my eyes with a primer quick little cheat if you're lazy. Like I am. This is like really good coverage, but then again I put a lot on this side of my face. This thing is hard to use too, so it's a little hard to blend into the skin with this little mini doodad. Overall though, it's um, am I, oh my gosh, I'm making like the hugest shadow on my face putting my mirror right there. So bad, I need to get up there to the The coverage is pretty nice, like I don't feel like I need to even wear a concealer. And I'm going to be going to the pool later, so I might not do like a whole lot. I don't know, I'm just kind of like eyeballing it here as I go. Taking you guys for the ride. So this one right here is definitely like this is pretty good coverage. I like it. I feel. I feel like that's the right color. I think I want to go in on the other side with um, uh, Real Techniques brush because I don't need to go wet or anything. I'm just gonna dab this on and then. side out under here too with this because I put a lot right there. I was talking, not paying attention. 
I don't know how I feel about this brush with this product. Like normally this brush is pretty smooth, but with this foundation it like drags. I don't know, it's weird. But overall I like this coverage, like I mean dang for two hundred dollars it better be good though. Just because I want to, I'm going to go wet this and then I think I'm going to dab it in and see how this blends it out. Just so that we can have a fair knowledge of everything. Okay, so I'm back with a well dampened beauty blender and I am going to... Oh, I have an itch right here, so I'm trying to... Okay, um, I'm going to dab in to it with Beauty Blender. Let's see, I didn't do this part yet, so I guess we can, wow, it's like really full coverage. <laughs> Light to medium, no, what did it say? It said medium to full? What did the coverage say? I don't even know. It has SPF 25 infused with caviar water. And let's see, wow, I really like the way that blended out with this as opposed to the other two prop tools that I was using. This feels really nice. Reapply at least every two hours. Uh-uh. $200. I am reapplying every two weeks. Are you kidding me? Okay, so it doesn't say on here if it is light, um, medium. I like it. It could also be that this is the first time I'm using a color that's more uh, my skin tone. I'm always using a color that's way too light, so some big differences here right now. I really like it though. This is a uh, pretty. Nice coverage. I'm just now like really getting into like foundations that are more full coverage. I've always used like no foundation or really light foundation. Or I would just use powder, but I'm really starting to get into more full coverage foundations. I like it. I don't know, I guess we'll see. It feels really, really smooth. Like it doesn't feel tacky. It feels nice and smooth. For some reason though, um, when I was using this brush, it made it feel real like, like it feels like it pulls, like, I don't know, it's weird. And this little thing wasn't so bad actually for being so little and like cutesy bootsy. I don't know, apparently it comes with a bigger one of these and if that, the bigger one feels like this, then I would totally use that because this feels great, like just this little mini one even. But let me be real with you, I ain't spending two hundred dollars on a foundation. No. Yeah. Uh, my brows are done. Ah, ow! Okay, she's beating me up for a cookie. Someone call APS and being abused by a child. Um, I gotta go get her a cookie and I'll be right back. And this quickly went from a makeup. Review to a mukbang. They're really good cookies. So, that's the look, you guys. I hope you like it. I don't know how to do this Instagram, YouTube model thing. I just know how to show you how to do stuff. And tell you if I like products or not. So yeah, anyways, um, I'll check back in later probably and let you guys know how I feel about my foundation after my child stops slamming the door behind me. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll be back later. Hey, alright, so I'm back um, doing my check-in for this foundation. It's been about, I put this on around like 1 o'clock and it's like 8.30 now, so it's been like 7, I want to say like 7 hours since I put it on and... 
still doing pretty good. Like, I can still barely see this pimple right here that was really red earlier and I didn't put any concealer on it. And I've been in the pool. I've been running around with Jacqueline and it's still doing good. So, I don't know. Like, if you're in the money for spending $200 for a foundation, you might want to try it out. I'm not going to spend $200 on foundation, but glad I got to try it. I like it. My skin is smooth. My pores don't look super huge. I don't know. I like it. Glad I got to try this. It's really nice. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. Or just, you know, leave me some love. Let me know that you like my videos or you don't like my videos even if you don't like them that's cool let me know i don't care but uh thanks for watching and i will see you guys next week with another video